Hey y'all, this is Brett and today I am eating some really good and healthy food out on the deck. And I'm talking with my new friend Brian and he's going to make some kind of a freaking contraption. And I don't know exactly what it is, but um, he's going to show us how to make this contraption right here and now. Brian's staying here and he's from Boston. Remember the group Boston? <laughs> Anyways, so uh, he's gonna make this contraption, and it does something, and I don't know what it is. All right, it, you, are you gonna edit? You could pause this and then start again. Oh no, no, you we're not going to. I, don't, right, I don't like to edit shit. Okay. That takes forever. Let's make it run then. Here. Okay, I want to introduce you to what they call the tetraastic star. That's the first thing we're gonna make. And to make it, you need 12 rods. So I have 12 rods here that are made out of of all things bamboo. Bamboo is very sustainable. It grows very fast. Four feet a day. This is bamboo. And you got that at the hardware store? Hardware store, yeah. So this is a small prototype. What are they supposed to be for? Um, skewing meat. Oh, yeah. Well, you skewers. can do vegetables, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm mm -hmm. a raw foodist, so I don't, you know, skew anything or heat it up. But this is um, bamboo. You use this for meat. But we're going to use it to make a design of a turbine. A wind uh -huh. turbine or a system of building um, elements that you could use anywhere. Okay. So now, does this turbine put off any nuclear radiation? Nothing. Nothing but green, clean energy. So you cool. can use it to do electricity, but the most simplest thing you could do is pump water. And if you could pump water, you could grow all the food you want to grow. Okay. And if you eat, you're happy. You don't need anything else. We think we need everything else. Okay. So I have 12 sticks, and I'm just going to use a rubber band to hold them together sometimes. The first, I take three sticks, and I wrap them together. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and I hold them together. What are you wrapping that with? Uh, I just, these are hair things. They use them for you if you have a ponytail. I have, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. right. All right. So you're a wrapper. <laughs> I'm a wrapper. So, and I take another three sticks. You need 12 all together, remember? Mm hmm. Three. All right. Now you're going to weave these sticks together. And the easiest thing is you separate one from the bunch, you separate another one, one from the bunch, and you put two and two to touch each other at all times, like this. When you get that like this, I don't know if the focus could see that. Okay, so you so got you the one on one side, side and one on the other side and the two, two touching the each other in yep. the middle. When All you right. get that, you want to tie these together as well. Hi, baby. There so these are the, I bought this from um, Walgreens. They're just hair scrunchies. Mm -hmm. The smallest ones they have. Mm -hmm. Just to hold them together. Hair scrunchies? I think what are they, hair scrunchie or hair rubber bands, I guess. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> alright. Once you get that, you're tying these, you're putting these ends together. You're going to tie these loose ones together too. You got to be careful because they're sharp at the end. We're going to cut those off with the scissors. One, two, three, four. Good. So now we have this. We have, and you remember, it's one on the outside, two, two, one. And we tied them together. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, while we have them like this, we're just going to twist them so they go together better at the ends. So I'm just taking okay. this and just Now you want to get it in the middle a little bit better? Well, it will always balance. Oh, and the, yeah. So, okay, now when you have it like this, we're going to divide it again. Make, these are two axes. One axis, two axis. They call it a tetra, which, which means four. We're going to take this, and we're going to divide two and two. Go between the two and the other two. Uh-huh. There you go. Like that. Uh-huh. And then you're going to put another one in there, and you're going to say, I, you need one on the outside. So there's already one on this outside, if you look this way. Yeah. So I'm going to put one on this outside here. Oh. That's all right. And then I'm going to take another one, and because I divided, now I have those divided, I want to put one more. I'm going to look and say I have one on the bottom here, so I want to put one on the top because I have two already. So it has to go one, two, two, one, and I'll show you better later. So we're going to put another one right there. I just want to get the basic understanding of what this is. So we're weaving together sticks. Hold on one second. I'll show you in a second because a lot of people... They don't see it until we finally finish. It's very easy to do. Five-year-olds do this very easily. One, two, three. I'm going to use that rubber band again to hold those together. And I'm going to do this end and be careful of the tips again. I'm sorry I move, if I'm moving too much. I'm going to do this again. All right. Now, the last step is sort of magical. I can film this and eat at the same time. That's amazing. <laughs> so now we're going to make sure. And I'm going to check this to see if it's all right. I'm looking at it right now. And so if I have one on the outside here... Now, how come you're holding it clear over here? Come over this way. Oh, one. sorry. I have one on the outside, on the top here. I have two going this way, two going this way, one on the bottom. I'm going to change it this way and check it again. I have one on the outside here, two going this way, 
two going this way, one on the bottom. That's fine. And if I turn it one more way, I think it'll be this way. One, two, two, one. So that looks right to me. If I have that right, I'm going to twist these again and make sure that they're all, just to make sure that it, that it goes together smoothly. Now this is the magic part. I'm going to look here, I'm going to look for a star of David. I'm going to look for a triangle. And when I find the triangle, if I smush this down, I, if, if, you see a star You're going to make David? it flat. Make it flat. All right. So I, you, the best way, the easiest way is to put it down like this. If you could somehow hold that up. Uh -huh. All right. And I'm going to see, you could, uh, if you look from the top view, right here, there's a star of David there. You see that star, David? Yeah, move your hand back. Yeah. You see that? We're flattening it out? All right. Okay. And this is the final axis we're putting in. To put this in, you want to put it through the triangle that has only two members. See, this me triangle has four members. One, two, three, four. So this one right here is one, two. And there's a triangle there, and there's a little small triangle in the Star of David. And we stick this in like this. Boom. That's one. And then each corner of the triangle, this one right here will go. The next one you can see will go right here two and the next one will go right here three now we're going to slide this up like this ah. and we're going to put a rubber band on again the rubber bands are temporary because the best thing that you can use is this polycarbonate um, tubing that I have over here uh -huh. even though it's a petrochemical I'm going to find something that's that's made out of um, for instance there's cups that are made out of like a they make cups out of uh, all organic corn, and I want to use something like that, you know, just so it's biodegradable and it's not as toxic for people. So once you have that together, you've just created a tetraaxic star. The beauty of this is it's just 12 sticks, and it collapses. So anytime you need your turbine, you just fold it open like that. And when you put it on the axis and spin it, this thing wants to spin forever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so you could put this anywhere. You could put 20 in a row and put it up high in trees, and you could have a way to pump water, create electricity, and it's very, very simple. And the beauty is, like I said, if you want to pack a hundred of these into a truck, you fold them down. It's a stack of sticks like that. So you're going to put some kind of a cloth on there so it'll catch yeah, the wind? Yeah, so now you look at the angle of these. You could put a sail there. You could put one there. And you could put one there. And then... But even when you spin it like this, you could feel the wind. Like, it wants to go all day. And this is effortless. All right, let me, let me try that. Go ahead. Wow. So imagine that 40 feet tall. There's another thing when you connect them together. Yeah, that way, any way to catch the wind if it had sails on it. Now, now why is this better than your standard windmill? Well, look what we just used. We used bamboo sticks that are readily available. They grow anywhere in the world. Even in the Northeast, they have bamboo to grow straight. So if you just... All okay, you so that, is that the main advantage of bamboo? Because it's really straight and strong? Yes. And this is not just a turbine. Now let's look at it just really quick another way. That's a tri that's a table. The table we're sitting at right now, imagine if you put a piece of wood on the top of it right now. You lock this ring right here, you have a table. You have or a chair. if you don't lock it, you've got a t you've got a table that With goes. Some flexibility. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you have a table. Um, when you link them together, weird things happen. I I'd have to make two. We might not have enough time for this video, but we'll make another video and we'll show when you link them together, you can make any structure you want to make, any way. Go up. Like the thickness, the width, mm -hmm. the height. And it has amazing stability because mm -hmm. it's based off a of tensegrity. Buckminster Fuller, he was um, he inspired a guy named John Caustic who's in Medford, Massachusetts, and he's the one who actually came up with the patent design for this. And uh, you could apply it anywhere, anywhere you want in the world. You could set up tables, chairs. You could live inside of this. <laughs> but it's patented. Well, 15 years, more than 15 years ago. So now okay. it's yeah. And now that we showed this video, it's not patented. Anyone in the world who wants to make structures that are unbelievable. That is strong. Now, where did you learn about this? I was going to a store with my son. My, I have a younger son who's deaf. And I was going to a store with him, and sometimes he just has intuition. And he, like, stopped me. We were late. We were supposed to go to a school. And he stopped me on the bike and said, like, we have to go inside the store. And I, I wasn't going to stop him. So I said, all right, let's go inside the store. And I saw him looking around, and he tuned in on it right then and there. And I felt something when he tuned in on it. And he picked it up, and he spun it. And I said, oh, my God. And then he collapsed it, and I said, wow. So, I don't know. I, I give the credit to my son. He has a very good intuition. His name is Zachary Brown. And uh, I love you, Zachary. And this is, also, it could be a structure. I made a pyramid structure, teep like a teepee. So, you saw this in a store, and what exactly was it? Do you remember? It's a, it's a sculpture. A sculpture? Yeah, a sculpture. John Costick in Medford, he came up with the design.
It's a sculpture, but it wasn't used Medford, for Medford, Oregon? Medford, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. He's, he worked at MIT. And um, it's just very simple. It's geometry. There's a dodecahedron inside that makes up the shape. I think it's called a dodecahedron. I'm not a scientist. So, um, look, that's a tent with a variable fulcrum. You can make a tent. You can sleep underneath and you put a skin on the outside like indigenous people did. How so far many can years you ago. pull that out and make it bigger? Um, well, see, I have it so that the, the ends, if you, if you made the ends that they were you pull those out straighter, all the way. you could, yeah, the, the, the angle. Well, you pull those out all, all the way. All the way, exactly. So you see it's simple. It's very simple. And I mean, you could try to patent this all day, so but basically, it's so simple. Now what you've got is is a, an amped up version of an Indian teepee. teepee. Yeah. And if you made smaller ones, you'd put chairs inside or cots. You put two in a row and you can make a cot. You can make anything as long as you know the, the geometry of weaving the sticks together. Mm-hmm. And then if Is you, there any way to, to incorporate this into sex? <laughs> you, you act like you can, you can do anything you can with do this fucking thing. I guess you could hang a sling like the yoga slings from the inside, and yeah, you'd have a nice... You could. You could hang the, the sling devices, and yeah, you could, I guess you could have sex inside of it. <laughs> the yoga swing. Yeah. No, or, you, I mean, even the... To, the toilet, like to sit on the toilet, I guess you can make a smaller one. That squatting went toilet yeah, seat? Yeah, squatting toilet seat out of that, mm -hmm. too. That's collapsible. I mean, anything. Anything in the world. Cool. And it's like, I don't... It's very simple technology. But the number one thing is power. You could, now, I feel that when way. when you were a kid, did you play with Tinker toys? No. My, my, well, you know what the beauty is? My folks didn't really invest a lot in toys, but they left us alone a lot, and we played with everything. So just being able to turn, you know... Uh, pick up sticks. Pick up sticks in there. Yeah, I, I, that I was know. a game. That was a game exactly. Pick up sticks. Yeah. Now everything's e electronic and, and you don't have simple toys, but mm. you don't need any electricity, and you could just you could do anything with this thing. And the RPMs you generate, it's not even balanced now, but there's a way to balance it. And now it'll just go all day. And this wind right here, you hear right there, the trees blowing. It'll go all day. You put 20 in a row, 100 in a row, and you could pump water into a barrel and then pump that water from another barrel and you could pump water hundreds of miles. So there's no reason for anyone in Africa or anywhere where they say there's no water uh -huh. to not have water. You could pump water anywhere. Cool. Over mountains, down mountains, anywhere. It's just we're not using our minds. That's all. And that's you know, it. You could just probably do damn near anything with, well, anything that with, you can do with, with electricity. Rods, anything with electricity. If you have a force, even underwater using waves, you could put these underwater and you get the shore and you could put a you know how they have a free wheel on a bike? It would only turn one way, but it would generate power. It would pump something. It would turn magnets in a coil. You could do anything. And all you need is a geometry to do it. So, so if we get the Earth's natural resources working for us, eventually in time, we won't have to do anything, and we won't get any exercise, and then we won't need human bodies, and we can become just like those brains on that one Star Trek episode. I think I saw that. There was a Star Trek episode where this, these, these beings had just, they didn't have bodies anymore. All they were were brains it's in this brain. dome. Yeah. They were brains in a dome. And they were making bets. They were so bored with their lives that they were controlling the Enterprise, and they were making bets on, like, who would fight each other and who would win and stuff. Yes. And so they were, they got into gambling and they actually got addicted. They were they were brain addicted gambling brains. Did that destroy them or what? I think it would. Uh, Kirk eventually convinced them that that it was just no good to do this kind of entertainment anymore. Yeah. Hopefully their bodies would grow back. You need exercise. Never know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See what happens when you don't get exercise. You get perverted thoughts. You want to gamble all day. <laughs> just gambling. Yeah. But mm -hmm. if you exercise, you come up with some really nice things. There you go. That looks Very good. Very cool, man. Yeah, thank Very you. Very cool. Now, you bought some of this plastic stuff. Oh, You're yeah. Put that so, on the outside so this is the connect it. Yeah, I don't know if I'll have enough time. There's something that you can connect it. Um, when you want to take one of the... I don't have two of these made, so... I'll make a couple more. On video two, we can make another video. All right. All right, and I'll show what you could do with these when you start to put them together. But cool. just remember the win. That's the simple one right there. All, All right. right. There you go. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right. <laughs>